Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Trucking Simulator. I do got the Texas DLC. I am very impressed with this DLC. When I was watching some of the previews of it, I was like, eh, it looks like kind of mediocre. You know, uh, nothing compared to Montana style, but like with the mountains and stuff actually. <laughs> We'll get to, I'll show you the map in a second, what I explored. I haven't explored too much, so I guess I can't say that, like, there isn't any crazy landmarks, but, um, from what I know for Texas, it's nothing real crazy. But, I gotta say, I'm very impressed with the way it looks. Of course, uh, SCS has their trucking event on again. So I want to get this state explored and get those, uh, prizes, if you will. I do have one already, if you haven't seen it already, it's the Armadillo plushie. Pretty cool, all I had to do was deliver a load to or from Austin, Texas. Which I have done. And now I'm headed to uh, USB here to pick up our used packaging trailer. And we are going to be driving up to uh, Waco, Texas. Okay, here we are, USB. Get our trailer picked up, and we will head up north. Let's see here. Let's be in the back over here. It's not a double. There it is. Used packaging, and we're going to be delivering, uh, delivering to Walbert. Also known as Walmart. It's the ripoff version of Walmart, if you haven't known that. Pretty cool that SCS has their uh, stores and delivery places based off of real places. Of course, they can't really use those names unless they pay a royalty or something, but it's fine. You kind of know exactly what they're talking about. The home store is Home Depot. Alright. Pop the air brakes quick and let's check the map. Okay, so yeah, we'll be heading up to through Waco. I guess it's probably still in town yet there. Uh, to deliver to Walbert for these used packaging. Um, on the way up, there is a question mark over here. I think it's a, a viewpoint. So I kind of want to hit that before we go up make this video just a little bit more interesting and then uh, yeah we'll make our delivery and go from there should take us probably what 20 ish minutes a little over that 20 and a half minutes I do have the uh, Longhorn I'm using today International Longhorn and I got the paint schemes for the um, like they actually just released these paint schemes. It was in the uh, bundle when I bought the Texas. It was only it. Was, I had most everything. I just, I got actually two paint schemes. I also got the uh, space one. I kind of wanted the space one. There was like a cool skin in there, so now I got that. It was. I mean, basically for the price of the DLC of Texas, I got you know two free skins. So. And if you haven't gotten all the other stuff in the bundle, it's, you know, really worth it. I gotta start out in the lower gear here. Okay. Get out onto the highway here. And then we'll head up. Let's see. Yeah, so for prizes yet, Oh, this is a bit of a heavy load. <laughs> I can feel it. So for prizes yet, I have to get the lizard skin we're going to get. And then... Also the, the longhorn uh, mirror ornament there. But I guess the thing I wanted the most was the plushie. Uh, I like these things. Yeah, so now I got the, what, the Triceratops from Wyoming, and then I got the goat from Montana, and now I got the Armadillo here for Texas. It's kind of a, 
a cool way to remember. Oh yeah, that was when I painted in Texas, or I guess it's, it would be the release of the map too, so you could, either way you look at it, I guess. Let's get on the highway here. One thing I will say about uh, Texas here, the roads are pretty pretty goofy if you haven't driven on them yet. Um, yeah, I can't believe how kind of weird they are. I've never seen intersections like how they got emerging. That one there wasn't so bad, but uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll have a couple to show you if you haven't seen this state yet. Another thing here too I've noticed is our the GPS. Everything looks a little cleaner. They did add the time and uh, uh, miles per hour, the speed limit, which is good. I wish they would also have the delivery, like uh, ETA on there for your delivery. That's one thing that's missing. I wish they would have had. But it's a good step in the right direction. They bet hopefully they will add it. I mean it's GPS, it's kind of a no-brainer that they should do that, but Alright, we're merging here. Let me get the windows up, it's probably a little loud. Alright. Alright, we are rolling. Yeah, overall this looks really good. I'm very impressed with it. And it's very interesting because uh, we got the announcement of Oklahoma now, so we're going to be heading north again. Um, which is, Pavel said in, you know, the CEO of SCS did say that he wanted to get to the Great Lakes, so I don't know if he's going to skip like the Dakotas and then just run to like Illinois and go that direction. It'll be interesting to see where they go from. I guess there's assets they already found Oklahoma, Nebraska, Nebraska, and Kansas, so we know that's coming. But right now, only Oklahoma's announced. And they actually have um, some good videos and pictures already released, so you know they've been working on it for a while. Again, Texas here, they've been working on this for, you know, four to three years, three to four years. So it's been in the works for quite some time. But here we are, we get to see the, you know, finished product, and it's good. All right, so I'm going to take a quick detour here from our load, and I want to go hit this viewpoint. I do like to get my map painted in, but I like to hit the points of interest as well. They added those photograph points now in the map, which I guess you kind of got to get used to because it's you kind of got to stop where they're at. Like if you're like in the middle of a highway and you got to take a picture, you just got to you know hit escape and then do that. Oops! I missed the. I made the wrong turn. <laughs> See, this is what I was talking about with <laughs> Texas intersections. <laughs> okay, well, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna hit that gas station. I'm getting first here. All right. Yeah. So this is what I was talking about with. Uh, Texas intersections. Stuff like that happens when you're not paying attention. But luckily we didn't have to go all the way around. We just shimmied here into the gas station and we'll just shimmy back the, out the outside here. And it helps me because I painted in some more of the map. So it's a win-win. All right, there we go. All 
All right, we're back on course. Yeah, this shouldn't be too far away down here. Okay, let's turn right here. But yeah, every time we get a new state, it's like, you know, another notch in the belt. It's very exciting when we get a new state. Oh, here we go. A little out of town. Let's see some different scenery. I will say to those people who are playing this game with keyboard, um, and if you're thinking about getting a wheel, I would recommend you do it because it has given, given me such a new dimension to playing this game. It's made it a lot more enjoyable. Um, as far as a head tracker, I mean, I like it, but you have to get, obviously you want to get the wheel first. I was playing this game with the mouse and the keyboard. You know, it's a little jerky, of course. It's not going to be a nice, smooth turning. But it adds a whole new level of enjoyment. Okay, let's see. It looks like we go straight up here. So this is the Namikyu Cory. I'm hoping that it is a viewpoint. It looks like it is. I mean, it probably would have been a better, uh, better thing that, or a better idea to leave it until I had a load up here or something. But kind of want to change this video around a little bit, and make it kind of interesting for the viewers. Oh, it is a viewpoint. All right. Must be a massive quarry or something here to. I guess we can, let's go over here in the gravel. And if you didn't know, my my steering wheel shakes when I'm in the gravel. It's pretty cool. This is a G29. It is in the description if you're interested in checking it out. Oh, there's a, they're working in the core you can see over there. All right, let's pop the air brakes, turn her off and take a look. Quarry. I think they have added to these cutscenes too. They made them longer than they originally did. Would have them, I guess. Green water. Algae. Some dozers, bobcats. I just love these cinematic viewpoints. Kind of, it, it adds another like achievement. Feels like you know you, you strive to get all the viewpoints. And now they added in the menu too. If you didn't know that, you can uh, go back through and rewatch these without having to, you know, drive to that viewpoint. They're all saved there, as well as the the picture achievements too. I don't think I have any pictures to do on the way up, otherwise we'd hit those two to, to Waco here. Wow, just look at that view distance. And instead of boxing you in, like their new techniques when they make this game and stuff, instead of like boxing you in, they make it feel like, you know, it's actually big. Which is awesome. The cities feel big, even though you're just you know you can only drive on a the few roads or whatnot. Okay, can we get back over? Should I? Oh yeah, we could drive way up there, I guess. But we'll turn around and we'll head on our way to Waco. Look at that billboard. Is it a job billboard? Oh, can we go behind this guy? I guess we're gonna find out. Oh, no, 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 no. Is this secret? This might be a secret way out. Nope. We hit a wall, folks. 
All right, so let's get her backed up. We'll just have to take the cement road here. Asphalt, whatever it is, it's both. Heck it, yeah. <laughs> it's both there. Okay. Yeah, it's a scale right there. Okay. Now we got to see the viewpoint, that was cool. Ooh. This is kind of tight here. Oh, we're making her. Yeah, I know I'm not supposed to be back here. Ooh, that is tight. We hit something. Okay. Keep right, I'm trying. What the hell? This is no left turn, but you can get ready in that left. See, this is what I'm talking about here. You can't turn left right here. There's no left turn, but you could start getting in the left lane before you cross the intersection to turn. So I actually should be in that, I think. I'm a little confused. That's weird. So this is, I've never seen stuff like their roads like this. If I ever get down to Texas in real life, I think it's going to throw me for a loop. But the best part is I'm kind of prepared for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... Oh, man. Those are some weird roads. And I... Yeah, that... Is that that road there? Yeah, that's the one I, I went around on or I tur took a wrong turn on. It's literally a designated turnaround road, if I'm re remembering that right. It says... There's a sign that says turnaround. So just having an intersection and then turning back on the highway. Which is weird. Alright. Back on the highway we go. And now here we get off. The other th interesting thing is too, like... if. If you had to stop up here, you could actually stay in this lane, but the GPS will take you on the highway just to take you back off. So you kind of got to use your own intuitive skills, too, on this map, because you might not have to get on the highway. Okay, I don't think we get over yet. In fact, we're going to be going north for a little while, though, so... Alright. Get her shifted up here. I'll hit the cruise. Of course, we're governed at 65 for these loads. Which is, I don't know, good and bad. It'd be nice to go a little faster, but it's good in a way because sometimes traffic ends up slowing you up anyway. I thought, oh, well, we got to transfer up here to the... Oh, no, we don't. I gotta get over though. Alright, this must be. Is this Austin? Or are we not there yet? Stay straight. That's a nice view there though. Look at that. Oh man, it just feels so big, you know? Alright, let me hit the cruise. There we go. Just a big ribbon of roads. Yeah, this is, yeah, we're coming up on Austin. So let me double check the map real quick. I think we don't have any photo points. No, I don't see any. I got all the undiscovered ones checked. Looks like the next thing's here. That's obviously a truck sale shop there. Yeah, so we'll just 
be driving straight to our destination then. All right. And then take in the views. Of course, we got Austin, Texas here. They should have, uh, they should have put Alex Jones in screaming in the streets. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. Yeah, so what do you guys think of Texas so far? Are you enjoying it? I just got started, but got a long ways to go to paint this map. But I'm seriously impressed. I did think when I looked at it, it was going to be kind of like, eh, mediocre, but I'm enjoying it. Looks like we could have got off on that. So that's what's weird about this. You really gotta watch the GPS. It almost looks like you couldn't got off, but you can get off on that to get to the airport, I suppose. Look at these roads, man. Oh, another thing I did notice is in some areas of Texas, and, and I really haven't <laughs> explored much of it at all, I noticed the skybox was kind of goofy, so hopefully they fix that. I think, oh, wasn't there another, maybe there was another update, maybe they fixed it. I do remember putting a um, update for Truck Simulator probably yesterday. I haven't played it in between, so. That's probably not the hardest thing for them to fix anyway. The clouds are just moving really fast and 50 miles to Waco. Oh, here's a big truck stop, it looks like. Oh, they got a playground there. Wow, just look at how open this is. Three years or so, three to four years in the making. What's exciting about this though, 29 cities too, by the way, which is a lot, their biggest, biggest one, this is their biggest state they did, they said, which I thought California would be bigger, but maybe they um, changed the scale or something on that. You'd think California would be bigger, they, those, those two states have to be really close. Hopefully now, you know, they're starting on Oklahoma, or starting, they've been doing it for a while. Uh, these next states that they're smaller shouldn't take them that long to get out. You know, a bit of a price difference for this DLC too, but, you know, they do good work. They've been spending a lot of time on it. You know, I enjoy it, so. If the next ones are going to be smaller states and they charge a lot, you know, a little less for those. That's a truck stop thing, or a truck dealership there. Yeah, what is it? Volvo? Oh no, that's not it yet. We have discovered Waco! Oh, it's a uh, international. Coincidentally, it's when I'm driving. Oop. Yeah, my wheel shakes when I go off the road too. <laughs> I like that. I did put this, if you can see this, the uh, spinner suicide knob on the wheel. Which is nice to have. I just went to a auto parts store and bought one and just put it on. 
Okay. Coming up to our turn. Our Waco Stadium. Alright, let's get shifted down here. Jake break on. Oh, this looks so good. Alrighty. So now this is at that, we don't want to go in the turnaround. I'm getting used to Texas and how it works now. We don't want turnaround. We want the next one down, which I'm a little late. They let me go. I, didn't, I thought for sure I was getting a ticket. Designated turnaround lane. That's that's news to me. Maybe that's more common than I think, but that's like the first time I've seen it that I'm aware of. Lancy Lakeview. All right. Looks like Walbert's just up here. Get over in the turn lane. Oh, they got a sign for us too right here. Okay. Get shifted down here. Taking her wide. This is used packaging, if I remember correctly. Delivering to Walbert's Warehouse, a.k.a. Walmart. We'll see if we can get this backed in. I do have a non-day cab tractor here, so... Tends to be a little more difficult since I can't look out the back window. Let's see, should I blindside this one? It's probably going to take me forever if I blindside it, so I'm just going to turn around here, if we may. Put my windows down here, too. Alright, right next to that trailer. Let me get my hazards on. Let's see if we can do this. I don't know if I got much room to swing here either. Probably should have been over a little farther. Kind of like right there. Straightforward, I think, and straighten it out. Oh, now she's getting away from us. Now she's getting away. Man, that's. I'm gonna have to go low, low. That's a heavy load. Okay. Without scratching their car. We get it close or somewhat close. Anyways, I suppose I could always go into. Ooh! We might get her. We'll take it, even though I'm not straight. We're just on hooking. All right, decouple that. Excellent. All right, there we go. So yeah, overall, this is all I've explored so far. Clean it up a little bit. Got all these question marks to get, these pictures. Which, like I said, I'm kind of 
kind of like, kind of don't. Maybe I gotta get used to it yet. I guess I gotta kind of gotta go back to my other states too and get some photographs. Oh yeah, they added this this road in here from Wyoming to or right here, excuse me. Wyoming to Idaho Falls that I'd like to take a look at too at some point. Yeah, so I got a lot of exploring to do. As far as the Cruising Texas, I'm on 9 of 15. I'm enjoying it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.